Hello everyone, welcome to Talking Kiki Stuff and today's topic or today's video is going to be my thoughts and a little bit of a review of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So I just came back, what about, what's it, just just about three, three hours ago, give or take, and watching Sonic 2, so I decided to do a quick video of my thoughts on Sonic 2. I've done the one uh, recently about the new Batman because I felt that was such a good film, so I thought I'd do it. And I thought I'd do it again <laughs> with uh, Sonic 2. So what do I think of Sonic 2? I actually, I, I liked it, I enjoyed it. Um, I think the first one was better overall. Maybe because with the first one, I didn't go in with that much expectation, but I come out pretty satisfied, pretty enjoyed it. I think it's because of um, video games has had a very poor history of movie adaptations and and even to this day is only a handful that are really still good i remember i did a video early this year uh maybe late last year about could uh video games be the next big thing in hollywood because you know there's the studios out there finding their next big thing because look what happened to uh, marvel mcu even dc recently you know producing some fantastic movies so every company is looking for their big thing and i really do think um video games could be the next one because there's so much there's so much ips out there so much amazing games like with amazing backstory amazing characters they can pull on you know the story is there for them so hollywood needs to tap into that vast amount of um intellectual properties but anyway sonic so sonic 2 like i said I, I enjoyed it i still think the first one is a little bit better Maybe it's because, like I said, I wasn't expecting much. This time, I expected a little bit more. I wasn't expecting the moon, of course. I wasn't expecting it to be like, wow, this is amazing. It's going to change the landscape of um, video games movie. And I didn't expect that. But, you know, I would say there's a few things that they could have done. Like, for example, it's a little bit over two hours long. I thought they could have cut a good 15 minutes, maybe. There was a few scenes that... Um, could have been cut down. Oh, by the way, before I forget, you can tell I'm not really good at this stuff yet. <laughs> is this video may have some spoilers, so uh, please be prepared to be spoiled. I try my best not to spoil too much, but be prepared. So spoilers ahead. You have been warned. Back to my point. Yes, there was a like I mentioned. I think that maybe a good 10, 15 minutes could have been cut down because there were some scenes that was a bit dragged. For example, a scene like in Hawaii, the wedding, that kept them flipping back and forth between Sonic and James Marsden's and the wedding. Mm -hmm. There was a few of those scenes where like, I didn't feel that if it was cut, I don't think it would have changed the story. The bit in uh, there's some scenes in where they, Sonic and Tails was in Siberia. A couple of those moments could be cut. By the way, I did like the dance off in Siberia, so uh, that was quite fun. Definitely check that out. And also the ending, there's a few scenes the ending could have been cut down a little bit more as well. Characters, new characters are introduced, Knuckles, Tails. I think they're both welcome additions. I thought Knuckles were really good. I've always liked Knuckles in the games. Um, the voice by Istrius Elba did a really, really good job. And every time Sonic and uh, Knuckles fought, I was actually rooting for Knuckles to win. <laughs> I don't know why. I suppose I was kind of like... See, Sonic has never been one of my favorite characters. I always liked the Sonic games. You know, always liked the Sonic games. Like I said, um, always been like, during the 16-bit era, was always been second favorite platform game behind Mario. But they were still great games. But I never liked Sonic that much. I always liked, you know, the supporting cast. But as you're saying that, Sonic ain't a bad character. I still like him, of course. I always prefer his supporting cast. Jim Carrey. I've never been a big fan of Jim Carrey. Uh, don't get me wrong. I still think he's a great actor, comedian. I enjoy some of his films, but I never, how to say it, liked, liked him. A few films I did enjoy, but I have to say, though, he is... When he first was cast as uh, Dr. Eggman, or Dr. Rob Bognet, I actually thought he was a good cast. I even said to my friends, that is actually a perfect cast. Even like the first movie to this movie, you can tell he was kind of like enjoying playing the, the character you can see you can clearly see that he's having a lot of fun 
playing that character. And in some some ways, probably didn't really follow some script. He was probably making things up on the spot, changing the script here and there, ad lipping here and there. You can clearly see he had so much fun, and I like that when you see actors having fun on the set during filming. You know, the McHugh had like to have fun, right? General cast always great. Um, I'm just glad that they gave a lot of the screen time to the main characters. You know, Sonic, Tails, uh, Knuckles, Eggman all got a, a plenty of screen time, which is always a good thing. It's kind of weird when you see other films, like, for example, the original Godzilla, for example, where the humans had too much screen time. <laughs> Godzilla should have focused more on Godzilla. So I'm glad this one, you get a lot of uh, Sonic in it. The storyline was pretty basic, you know, um, young remember Sonic's still a teenager in this movie and he wants to be a hero of course he kind of messes things out so, um, James Marsden will tell him you have to be a hero you have to do this you have to do that and it's not about yourself your typical kind of like uh, speech he learns from his mistakes and become a better better person or best better hedgehog so you know just your storyline story beats are the same but the main thing is, I think that also, which I really do like as well, because the script writing, I thought it's pretty witty, because Sonic references a lot of uh, characters like uh, The Rock and Ring Diesel, referenced Batman, you know, Marvel characters like The Winter Soldier. I like a lot of those references because it makes sense. You know, Sonic's a teenager, he should be into those kind of movies. So I'm glad that he referenced those movies in his movie. I'm glad that. I think the special effects were good. Not amazing. I mean, uh, if you can clearly see that he had a bigger budget than the last movie. So they uh, definitely, um, how would I say? I think they made the best use of it. Because, because the problem with having films like this sometimes, especially um, video game movies, and you've got characters or CG, you kind of almost have to, um, when you start doing CG animation, you kind of got to be careful. It, it looks too much like a CG cutscene from the actual video game and and that's that was my fear from the first movie but i'm glad that they were different enough they can tell this is clearly a movie versus a cg cutscene from the video game so i'm glad the the visual team did that kind of and you can separated it so i like that so overall the film was good i really enjoyed it i still think the first one was better because maybe because I went in there with lower expectations and uh, came out very surprised. This one, I kept my expectations in check. I didn't, go, I didn't go in there thinking, wow, this is going to be the best thing. Seeing Slice Bears is going to be like the, the end game of MCU. None of that stuff. Came in there with just moderate expectation left. Actually, pretty good. Like I mentioned, there's a few issues with the, with the movie, but nothing that can make you say, oh, this is rubbish, this is boring. Nothing like that. So uh, I recommend this to uh, Sonic fans. It's a great movie to take your family, great for kids, even adults like my myself. He's been a, you know he's been playing Sonic games for over thirty years. Great for video game f uh, fans out there in general to take on and support video games. So hopefully you know this makes uh, a fair bit of money, so Hollywood can start investing in more video game properties and make video game a um, the next big thing you know rivaling mcu uh, dc movies so anyway i'm gonna say thank you for watching this video and please subs uh, subscribe for more talking geeky stuff in the future i will leave this trailer playing to the end but anyway uh good morning good afternoon and good evening wherever you are and please stay safe